Hey guys, Shiny Zekrom here, and welcome back for another dungeon video. Finally feels good to be getting to something different than uh, doing a lot of wind and training dojo training that I did in the last video. But I'm feeling good, and I'm feeling refreshed to get ready to um, continue on to another dungeon. So we're going to Mount Barricade, as I said in this part, and if you just follow the path that I'm going... All you gotta do is come over here, rock smash this rock here. Now do not send your rock smasher home yet. Because this has changed a few times in the past like year or so. That'll be in, um, needed for later, so do remember this way. I'll mention that. Why I said don't send your rock smasher home? Right here, right in front of the entrance you gotta rock smash one more time. And then that's it. However... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot what I was going to say. So anyways, welcome to Mount Barricade. Now, oh wow, we got a very small room. But first off, I'm going to take mention right here of some of the recruits. You can recruit Makahita, Diglett, Paris, as we can all see these right here. And there are a couple more we'll get talking about once we see them. Now, do be careful of Diglett because, of course, their arena trap is going to be uh, a little prominent. And status conditions are a, th a very prominent thing because of Paris is. Now, the reason I'm using Golduck every floor is, in this place, it is very, very common to see cloudy and foggy and all other different types of weather, which may not... Um, be good for your types so make sure you are bringing that along like a uh, weather condition you also see I'm using x-ray specs right now why is that that's all we can see if we don't use x-ray specs so you're definitely gonna want x-ray specs and you're definitely gonna want cloud because there you go in our battle log it said that the weather was foggy but we cleared it that's gonna be a very important thing bring cloud nine and bring um bring rest or refresher and um, x-ray specs now also on these floors only these early floors and very early on there are secret rooms actually not many people know they're here because they aren't the easiest thing to find um, the items you can find in these secret rooms include canyon band which is the ground type version of like a um, freeze band we've seen Slate Band, I kind of forget what that does, but Plain Seed, Cabia Berry, Apple, and Reviver Seed are among other items you can find in here. As you can see right there, starting on these floors, you can also recruit Mankey, you can recruit Bonsai, which Bonsai's only location is in this dungeon here, as well as Heracross, which is also the only location you can get, is here to get your Heracrosses. So... Yeah, if you want like a pseudo wudo or something, you have to come here to get that bonsai. And oh, our escape rope became sticky. That's just a silk scarf you see on the water over there. Um, I may may look out for cleansers because that's a thing you can find in here, and it would be a very good thing. Once we get to ten F, there's definitely something else I have to mention because it's very important information actually. And could really alter the way you keep going. Alright, we're going to continue on. We're doing pretty well with the stairs right now. They're appearing pretty close to where we happen to be spawning. Which I'm kind of surprised because normally I'm out barricade. That is not a thing for me at least. Going to rest up here. Head on in. We're almost there. Which I think we're going to go pick up this money. Eh? And yeah, the Heracross is give not too bad of EXP, 472 from the one. Alright. Let's see the stairs this way, so we're gonna go this way. And this is the first time you guys are gonna see me using X-ray specs in a dungeon like this. I felt this dungeon would definitely be one of the ones you definitely want to, especially because of one main thing. Now, this thing is gonna appear a little bit later. Alright, so 10F. Here's a very big controversy that can happen. 
on this floor, if you find a secret room, which we're going to see if we can actually find one, but um, if I do happen to find one, I will show what can occur because of it. Um, if not, I'll just explain what can happen. Oh yeah, I'm definitely thinking about using that um, cleanse orb we have soon. Because two important items, a reviver seed and our um, escape rope became sticky. Which, if you need to know where escape ropes are, they are in the Wind and Train Dojo end boxes. And you really want to carry them around, honestly. They are really good items where if you get to a point where you faint in a dungeon and you don't have any revivers, escape ropes are basically your life. Alright, um, we got this room over here. So let's see if we can find that secret room in here. Which I'm not seeing one at all. So yeah, sorry if this just kind of took a little bit of a long way. But I wanted to put it out there that, and I'll say it now since we're probably not going to find it. If you find a secret room on this floor, you may or may not, um, whatchamacallit. You, if you find a secret room on this floor, it, it will alter the path you take. If you find a secret room here, you will automatically move to 11F. But in our situation, if we go, we head up to this warp maze. So yes, this warp maze will not appear if you find a secret room and go into it. Now, to quick talk about these secret rooms as you see me doing the path here, up from here, and then we're ready to go to 11F. However, the secret rooms in this place have foggy weather every time you go into them. That's another reason why Cloud 9 is going to be useful. If you do not have Cloud 9, you are barely going to be able to see in the secret rooms. Especially because, one, you are going to need a ghost for them because some of the boxes are in balls. This secret room can have up to, I believe it's six boxes. Or five or six boxes. I, I, um, I believe it's six, but I've been hearing it's five. But regardless, they're all by sparkle, so they're all hidden boxes. So ones you wouldn't be able to see normally. So that's why Cloud9 can also be useful. Now, you can see some of the Pokemon do come with status conditions already to have their Guts abilities activated. So, be careful of that. Now, as you see here, Nidoran Female starts to appear and Nidoran male also start to appear on these floors so if you are going to um, want to recruit something make sure you are ready because Nidoran male and Nidoran female are also only in this dungeon now starting this floor and next floor there is a very uh, pretty rare recruit you can find on these floors and it is also a recruit you can only find in here I wanna see if we can find it because that would be amazing and it's also this recruit I'll mention now is a three percent chance to find so if you find it make sure you are ready it's Larvitar yep Larvitar is only on floors 14 and 15 at all times at a 3% spawn rate. So, if you are going to want to get a Larvitar, it has to be here, and it's uh, 14 and 15 F only. Now, secret rooms, I believe, are only the first 10 floors, so after that, we will not be finding any more. And it looks like 14 F is over for us, and we did not see a Larvitar, so. We're going to hope 15 F we can find one. This place can also work for finding recycle orbs, so that would be good. Now, I'm going to quick be right back. Hey guys, and we are back. So, let's search 15 F and see if we can find ourselves a Larvitar. Though, don't get your hopes up because they do not appear that easily. Again, it is 3%. So... You won't like, oh, I immediately found one. Mm, yeah. 
I have only ever found Larbitar once by just randomly coming here and not using honey or anything. Now, oh, and there's the Nidoran male over there. I want to, I want to at least show, oh, that's another thing, is tiny mushrooms can, and uh, big mushrooms can be hidden on the ground in here. So, make sure you are looking carefully, because there's bunches and bunches of things all over the place. So, th this dungeon really isn't too bad. Now, there's another thing you can do on these floors, which, as you see here, is if you run around, summon traps are possible to see in here. So, you may have that chance of um, spawning a Larvitar by hitting a summon trap. Because, hey, even if we hit a summon trap, it's still five Pokemon coming out, so you never know if one of them will appear. And, wow, we are losing all our moves this PP very quickly here it looks like so we're gonna quick check the rest of this room for um, a summon trap and if we don't get one that's okay and it looks like we didn't but um yeah so seems like we're doing a pretty good uh, we're not doing too shabby right now if I say so myself now starting on these floors I believe you can start finding eggs now, eggs have one of two things in here. So, yeah, you're only going to find two different Pokemon in eggs here. Those are Shroomish and Pineco. Of course, you can find Pineco eggs in... Um, Pineco eggs are also in... Mount... Or, Wind and Forest. Wow, I'm sorry I couldn't remember the name. Um, we're going to try and pick up this money here. Over here... And another thing to watch out for is Doug Trios have Earthquake, and they are not afraid to spam them. Wow. We are surrounded by everything and anything. Just right up here, too. Gonna get everything out of the way. And as you can see, our percent is actually... Ooh, we definitely want to get those back. I'm gonna take a quick rest here. Oh, and our stamina band is sticky, too. Wow. I hope we can find another cleanse orb. It looks like another recycle orb. But, uh, we'll keep on going. And poor Sudowoodo went down to his burn. Now, I also forgot to mention, starting on these floors, there it is. Shuckles, but shuckles are not recruitable anymore here just because you could get a free like level 50 shuckle so they didn't want to like give those for free Heracross the only reason it is is due to the fact that Heracross is not recruitable or in eggs in any other dungeon except for here so that's the reason they kept that at its levels now the recruit sorry the recruit I was gonna mention that can start on these floors is Gligar. Gligar is also a Pokemon that only appears in this dungeon. So yeah, there are a lot of exclusive recruits here. The Nidorans, Bonsly, Heracross, Gligar. So, definitely be on your lookout, because you never know when you're going to see one of them. Uh, looks like we need Belly. Let's eat an apple. And also, after this floor, begins another thing. Which we'll get to once we find the stairs, that is. Wow. All of this... Earthquaking, as you can see. So, let's see. Where are these stairs? Those would be really... There they are. We're going to enter here, and as you can see, there is another maze. So hit this one, hit this one, and then this one, and you will appear here. Now, what's different is if you come in here and walk, uh, make sure you have full PP for this. Just trust me. I, once you walk up here, oi, what have we got here? 
We don't well get too many a visitor up in these parts. On a closer inspection, you don't look like much of a threat. Do you honestly want me to believe you were able to brave this, these treacherous slopes then? Da -da 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 hmm. For someone to make it up this far, it takes, sh it takes a shirt. It takes a shirt, sure takes a lot of courage. That is really badly written. A Pokemon like that surely's gonna put up some kind of a fight. Da 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 da. Right then, you seem a bit eager to put to get past here, so I'll be making you a deal. If you can prove yourself by winning in a battle against me and my comrades, comrades, I'll be willing to let you pass. All right. I best be warning you though. We won't be taking it easy on you, so you better fight like you mean it. Are you ready to take us on, stranger? Go ahead and come at us then. So, you are going to fight three Hariyama and three Makuhitas. As you can see, they all these Hariyamas have Earthquake. So, it puts a big burden. And they do not drop anything, but it's just like that. Three of our Reviver Seeds went down. So it is nothing to mess around with. And I have to use our cleanse because one of our other Reviver Seeds was sticky. So, the second part of this maze. Come up here. Hit this one. Go to the left over here. Hit this one. Oh, my bad. It's here. And to here. Over here. Oh. My bad. I, I, I'm hitting the wrong one. It's these two. You go down to this one. Hit this. What? They changed this, I think. Hit, go up and hit that one. Hit this. No. What? Oh, there we go. I was hitting left on a couple of them. I should have been. Oopsies. But anyways, starting on 20F is another thing. You can find recruitable Mawiles here. They are a very, very low level. Now, as you just saw there, it is possible for a pitfall trap to occur, making it where you go back down to 19F and you have to redo that Hariyama boss fight. So make sure if that pitfall trap fails, if you want to get EXP, go ahead. I really wouldn't recommend doing it though, but it's just a warning that that is possible that you have to redo that fight. Anyways, as you guys see here, there's a silk chamber. This has your orange silk, which is for your fighting types, as well as some of the common other stuff like lumberries, revives, revival herbs. So, don't be too amazed. Nothing really too notably different in those ones. But, regardless, just be aware that it is on 20F. It's right after the Hariyam boss fight. So, if you bring multiple... This is also another thing which can be very helpful. If you can get a pitfall trap on 20F and you bring multiple silver keys, you have a chance of getting multiple silk chambers, making it a little bit easier to get your orange silk. And it looks like we got a lot of Pokemon around us. And that's another thing is Pokemon in here spam wide guard like no tomorrow. So if anything, have li your line of sights and whatnot because you are going to need those. And you can also, of course, get shards like normal in here. So, let's move on. But yeah, as you can see, this place can be really tough. A couple of other things I'm going to mention right here are a couple of the TMs you can actually find. Some of these include um, TM Stone Edge, which we have not seen yet, and TM Brick Break, which is also in Wind and Training Dojo. But... Um, from my experience, you can actually find quite a bit of Brick Break and Stone Edges in here. I've had very good luck with those TMs before in here. So, yeah. I also forgot to mention... Oh, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I kind of forgot it was almost 10 minutes and I looked at the time and I'm like, I might want to... Um, shoot. Um... We need to do that, and wake you up, and then go back there, do that, and do that. Ooh, 
That is another thing, is the Marowax can do that combo you just saw. Belly Drum into Endeavor, and then they can destroy you from that point. So definitely be careful. Now, another thing that will start to occur soon is actually right here at the next war. Starting on 25F, you can find Oval Stones in the wall. So, these Oval Stones, of course, are only to evolve Happini. And, of course, we have not been able to obtain Happini yet. And, actually, right here is a TM Stone Edge. Sweet. That's actually going to be um, very good. And I think I might actually teach that to our Agron that we have. Because it definitely would be useful. And it looks like we need to max Ether because we do not have much PP left. Oh, wow. Wouldn't you know, Dark Pulse, the one move I wanted to use, got sealed. So, yeah, there's all sorts of traps and things to get you in here. So make sure you're just very well prepared. Maybe bring a couple more cleanse orbs like that. And as you can see, I'm picking up more than a 100 poke per pile. That is another thing that's very good is you can make quite a bit of money from this place. So, definitely pick up any piles of poke you see. And there is our brick break. Rado, yep, it is. And it looks like. And on these upper floors, you can find a lot of, like, ethers and apples and whatnot in case you need them. So, definitely look out for those. And you just saw right in that little tiny space. I got how much poke right there? 447, just by those two little piles. So, if you want to make some uh, quick money, excuse me, going here would definitely be an ideal thing to do. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting poison left and right. Put to sleep, and we have an egg over there. Awesome. Eggs do also appear. I should have mentioned that eggs do appear in these. Oh, two eggs for that matter. And a br another brick break. Okay. This dungeon decided to hand everything to me right there. <laughs> so we got two brick breaks, two eggs, and a TM Stone Edge so far. Doing pretty well, I'd say. And our Houndoom is going to be... Oh, another one! And uh, Oval Stone starting at 25F, they will go up until 30F. So we're actually going to make space for that Stone Edge, because you never know a Pokemon we give it to later might actually really benefit from it. So we're going to have an Apple and an Ether, and we'll pick up this Stone Edge. I know the stairs are down there, but I do want to try and get Houndoom. It's level very soon. I see another... I think I just saw a sparkle somewhere over here. Out of the corner of my eye, I think I did. I'm probably just seeing things. That can happen a lot. Anyways, let's uh, make our way on 28. And if you're looking for EXP... The Needle Queens and Kings give out the most here. They give over 700. So basically almost as much as we were seeing in Wind and Training Dojo. Now I'm going to look over that way real quick. On to 29. Keep running. And there we go. Houndoom has reached level 53. And I forgot to mention, you can also find TM Facade here, too. But that's that was also in Wind and Training Dojo, so... If you want to, you can always sell those, but... You never know when you find a person that might be looking for one. Now, on to 30 we go. Keep us uh, spamming our flamethrowers. And I recommend, before you move on 
to the top floor because I will mention now there's a boss and wow we actually see a mall while I didn't think we were gonna see anything I'm surprised we didn't see a Gligar either because I usually see at least one Gligar run in this when I do like runs to this place I'm usually seeing at least one Gligar but I guess not this time around uh, anyways let's uh drink up this ether and we do have I think enough PP to last us so we're gonna head on over here and see what else we can find since we're just about to be leaving this place anyways and I guess I'm glad we did so I guess for a little bit of fun we're gonna send our teddy home and our recruit rate from Mawile is 14.2, and we didn't get it, but I'm okay with that. Now, come here and the sunlight fades. What we need to do is come up this way. Again, make sure you have near full PP or full PP when doing when coming up here. Now, make sure Cloud9 is going to be very useful here, and you'll see why. Uh, I'll be right back quick though. I just wanted to make sure the recording would not go out when I'm fighting this boss. Let's head in. Once you reach up to... Oh, here we go. You have to step right here. So. Rumble. What's this? The earth below seems to be trembling. That smell. There's no mistaking it. Something's approaching. The smell of an intruder! It's getting closer. You won't make it out of here alive. Raw. So, begins the boss fight. As you can see, there are four Larvitars, two Pupitars, two Gliscors, two Skarmory, and Tyranitar. The reason Tyranitar's Sandstream ability is gonna kick in as soon as this fight begins now the reason it's so important to have your cloud nine is these guys get a special defensive boost if you keep that sandstorm going so we are just gonna spam the heck out of dark post and we destroy all the tyrantor's minions and himself to beat the boss with no revivers used that boss can be very tough if you were not prepared like i was or er, yeah, because they will beat you to a pulp if you do not have AoE moves or you keep that sandstorm around. I already knew that Sy or Golduck was going to be dying because I wanted to sacrifice it so I could not have that sandstorm up because it gave me a much harder time. But as you can see, without the special defensive boost, Dark Pulse really destroyed them. So, that will actually do it for Mount Barricade. That is everything I've had to show you, just making sure. So yeah, just to go over it again, at 10F, if you get a secret room and enter it, you will move to 11F, and you will not take that warp maze. 19F has one little warp maze, you fight a Hariyama boss fight, and then it's the second part of the warp maze. And you can find Oval Stone 25 to 30F visible. There's 30 floors, and we went over the recruits and the silk chamber, the secret room items, and uh, little tips and whatnot that I wanted to give you guys. So let's hatch our eggs. So the first egg was actually kind of what I like. Shroomish, we got Focus Punch, Dream Punch, Worry Seed, and Natural Gift. Now, I do believe we had another one, so I, I guess let's hatch it, right? But, um, yeah, that dungeon can be... A bit of a good money hole. At the same time, it can also be very dangerous. So definitely make sure if you're going to go there, you have enough Reviver Seeds and you are prepared enough to enter the place. As you see, I saw had seven Revives and I only used them at the Hariyama boss fight. Or It's more so a mini boss, but you get the point. It's not the easiest thing. That dungeon definitely has its difficulty for it. Um, well, quick. 
I'm going to cut and I'm going to quick come back once the egg hatches. Hey guys, we're back and it looks like the second egg is ready to hatch. It's another shroomish. Where you see it helping hand charm and wake up slap. So not really a good one either, but still it was nice to see a couple shroomish eggs. But regardless, that is the end of this Mount Barricade video. I would like to thank you guys for watching. And in the next part, we are going to cover Snowvale Lair and Snowvale Den. This is the last dungeon, or this is going to be the last video I do before we do a very big dungeon that will be taking a lot of time for me to gather information about. So again, thank you guys for watching, and in the next part is Snowvale Lair and Snowvale Den. See you guys then.